Hi everyone, back again with another reaction video. And this one is for Family Man Episode 4, and still on Season 1, so slowly getting through it. Uh, I'm quite liking it at the moment, it's still got a good momentum, and um, each episode almost is kind of just like different people. Although the last episode was kind of the same character they're addressing now, so I'm curious to see what's going to happen in this one, how they're going to catch up with him again, because they kind of did have him, but then they kind of were one step ahead almost, so that was interesting. So I'm curious to see um, where it goes from here. So let's just get straight into it. I don't want to waste any time this time. Let's just, um, yeah, get right in. Hey, this is the group. This is a crew. Ah, so since their phones are off, they can't track them. So they're kind of aware of these guys in a certain way. No, oh, wow. Well, good disguise, huh? Wow, that's crazy. The effort they're doing for this thing. Oh. Hm. It's a cool top down shot. Ah! Joins in. I will show you. Don't worry. I'll my text. It's okay. I wonder how this is going to go. I imagine there's going to be some form of conflict that's going to happen there between him and his wife and this other guy. It's bound to happen, right? I wonder if he's gone. The way they're building up. Never mind. The way they were building that up, I was like, hmm. Yeah, he sees that like what he's done is just not been very. Um, he's treating him basically like a therapist. <laughs> they take away your identity. Hmm. Oh, interesting. How do you know if it's the will of that uh, God or the will of them? See. Rest karoge, tabhi thik ho jaoge. Kya ho jayega, upar upar se thik ho ke. Yahan ka jo bimari hai na. That's where you need psychological help. This is where, you know, uh, you know, therapy, counseling, psychology, um, even meditation, things like that. That's what you need to go down. And that's going to be a hard path for this person now because of the, all the scars he's got. But he's going to have to face that. Or not face it and just keep doing what he's doing, which isn't going to really work now because he sees just what it's doing to him. So he's in a tricky bind, but he's going to have to just face that or die. <laughs> honestly, like that's kind of your options right now. Um, because honestly, dying probably would be more comfortable than going through all that hardship. It's probably a part of how he feels, honestly. But that being said, if you're courageous, enough um, and willing to go through that process that healing process you can do great things you can help people um, you can become a great influence so hey at the end of the day the choice is yours I guess oh here we go what's he gonna say mm. yeah mm. In fact, I can't do anything between you. Hmm. Oh, he's open minded. He's like, yeah, he's open to anything. That's good. That's, that's good. At least he's open minded. That's actually really courageous for him to do that. To take that step to be like, look, obviously my way was wrong. <laughs> so, what is your way? Like, that takes a lot of courage and humility to be able to admit that. So that's really great to see that he's he's like that. Mm. Mm. Wow. I can see she's kind of stirred a bit too. She's like, wow, that's interesting. This is good. I'm liking that interaction. This show is very uh very nuanced. Is that the right word? Nuanced? It feels very advanced. It's it's very it doesn't have that kind of good and evil feel. It's very, 
in that grey area, and I like that a lot. It's just showing different sides of the coin, you know what I mean? This is cool. Um, it's very well written. What's nuance mean? Is that the right word? Yes, that is actually the perfect word. Characterized by subtle, subtle shades of meaning or expression. Perfect. That was the right word to say. <laughs> oh, she's pacing. She's got a date or something. Huh. Oh, I like this shot, how it's from the outside with the blinds. That's cool. This is a good episode. I think this is slightly better than the last one, the way it's playing out right now. Hello? Oh, sorry, I met you on the phone. I don't even know why I'm lying to Shri. Hmm. The reason why she's lying is because she feels like it's wrong. Right? There's a part of her that kind of knows that maybe she shouldn't be doing this, like she's doing it for a motive that probably isn't the best. You know what I mean? So there's a part deep inside that's kind of like, look, I don't think this is right. You should be honest. Why am I not honest? We'll look into that. Like, what's your motive for being with him? Is it actually just for, you know, work reasons? Or do you like him as a friend? Now, as a friend, okay, we'll be honest with him about that. Don't just, you know, but it's obvious that there's probably something else there, right? And that's why she's not being honest. <laughs> See, she can't be honest about that, <laughs> about that fact. Be careful, huh? mm, interesting. So, gee. Mm, he knows. Interesting. No, he's right. Nah. That is true, though. I mean, he's got to get himself socked for that, but unless he's got an insight now from him saying that. Oh, he's going to see. Ooh. Oh, boy. Shove it. This is a good episode, the way things are amping up. A faithful dog. No, no, seriously. We're family, I do see what he means. There's a balance there. You can't just completely just get so involved in stuff. You've got to think of yourself as well. And that's tricky, but it is possible to have that balance. You know, I used to have a life. See, he's giving her that escape, which she needs, but it's the problem is with it, it's like... Oh, boy. Uh-oh. He's like, shit. Sir, <laughs> <laughs> for a month. It's hilarious. Isn't it your... Uh oh. You want to invite him over here? Hmm. Ah, is it like it's just coincidence? Look at this. Looking nice, Suchi. Huh? Ah, uh, hi, Suchi. <laughs> oh, what a surprise! <laughs> oh my God. Carry on. <laughs> oh boy. Huh? He's trying to drink that shit quick. <laughs> ah. Sorry, I'm sorry. If there's a problem, I'm not going to die. No, no. Hello. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Please, abhi rest karo. Ha! <laughs> then I'm like, wait, what are we doing? <laughs> he got out of the moment then. That was just a spur of the thing, wasn't it? Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, it's giving him hope. That's good. It seems like it's he's going in a slightly better direction now, which is good. I'm time waste kar raha. Is pure area ko evacuate karna padega? Nee nee, batata hoon, batata. That guy's definitely like the hammer. He gets stuff done, just poof. Doesn't think stuff through as much, just straight in. Which is good for certain things. We are almost there, so we are working on it. Oh boy. They're on their way. 
Oh, oh, got something. I'm in. I'm in. Don't be high. Ooh, race against time now. Dirigan, you better be right about this. Hmm. True. It seems like they are though. That's actually no. That is what they're doing. And this is a kind of cool shot I like in this handheld type of deal there. It adds the kind of the tension in that moment and the environment. Hey. Ah. ah, that boxed in. Oh, I like this shot in the back seat like this. This is a cool shot. Oh, back up. <laughs> Man, this is cool. This is reminding me of, um, this reminds me of the scene in, um, Children of Men, kind of. That one wasn't saying how good that one was, though, but this is still good. I like that it's handheld as well. It's kind of adding to the bumpiness of the ride, so it's actually quite cool. Yay. Oh, God, here we go. Yep. What? Done. Oh, now you're in trouble, sir. Shoo. I like that the shot's still going too. Oh, that's cool. Wait a minute. So since the guy opened up the door right before to shoot at the guys, the camera went out the door. That's really cool how like they've staged this and it seems more believable. I know some movies they like making the camera go through walls and all that. But they made that believable by, well, the door was left opened, right? Mmm, that is cool. And then, he, yeah, the camera just goes out the door the guy left out of a hall. That's cool. I like how this has been staged. Man, you're stuck. Oh, okay, okay, let's see. I'm guessing this one day is going to last until he gets um, captured, which is kind of neat. Oh, is it the main character? It is. Ha. <laughs> Oh, now it follows. Man, wait, so it looks like, I don't know if this will always be the case, but a lot of the pursuit scenes are done in one takes. Is that true? I imagine this is the case maybe later on in the show too, because the last time they did this, it was a pursuit scene and they got those criminals. This time again, they're doing the pursuit scene and they have a one take. That's really cool actually, because it does add to the intensity and the tension of it. So that's a brilliant thing to use. Ooh. He's got nothing too. He's got no gun, nothing. Ooh. Oh, and well now he's got a weapon at least. Oh, I'm liking this build up. This is cool. The music's good too, again as well. Yeah, particularly when they do these one takes. And then he's been lucky. Ah, keep the thing on you, man. Might come in handy. Oh, oh, oh. Take the shot. Oh, did he kill him? Oh, yep, he's done, I think. Careful. <laughs> What's happened? What is it? Is it just food? You're kidding. Oh. Oh. oh my god, are you serious? They simply just wanted to give him a bunch of beef just to, you know, troll them or whatever. You're kidding. I love that though, because we didn't even we didn't even know as viewers what they were gonna do. Like it really felt like they were gonna blow up the place. But no. Wow, that was clever. My goodness, these writers. What a reveal that was. That was a great reveal for us and for them. <laughs> we felt the surprise. That was great. <laughs> so these weren't the guys that were involved in that bombing of the scooter at all. Okay, guys, listen. It was a terrorist attack. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Encounter with Dino Mario. That's the story. 
It's not true though, yeah. Damage control. Tumhare akele galti baanne se kuch nahi hoga. Am I clear? Wow. So they're just going deeper into lies again. I mean, this show is really well written. I like it a lot. Really fascinating. Man, what you can do with just writing is phenomenal. Like, okay, cool, you can do a good job with filmmaking and all that jazz, but really the art of writing is um, quite beautiful, honestly. Wow. Huh, they got nothing to say. Huh. Wow. This was a good episode, I must say. This one's going to be up on the numbers, that's for sure. Sorry. Mm. And so thing, she just thinks he does paperwork, not field work anymore. Because of that, he can't really talk about his problems with her. Okay? <laughs> Oh. Like you do with your criminals? Hmm? Uh, she's lying again. Hmm. But I don't know. Man, I don't know. I think things are starting to fall apart already. <laughs> I thought it would be built up a bit more, but mm, I'm curious to see what's going to happen here. Mm. Oh wow, now it's hearing all this. Wow, what the heck? Wow, this is interesting. Like seeing the aftermath of this. It's actually interesting, I thought this episode would end pretty quickly after that whole encounter. But it's interesting that it hasn't. I love the choices they do in this show. Like the last episode was a big cliffhanger. But this episode is kind of dragging it out nicely to a more, like, um, conclusive ending for this, like, episode. Well, the last episode wasn't like that. I like how in this show you can't really predict when it's going to end, actually. Like, the ending is always kind of not what you think. And I like that. It's cool. Just an anti-national mistake. Come on. How can you say these innocent students are... This... Oh, man. Woo. I mean, that lady's right. He, what, they were innocent. Mm. Music's good again. <laughs> oh, this is the guy, right? The scooter bomber? Again? Yep, that's him. Oi! That's his face, huh? Hmm. Ooh. That was a good episode. That was really good. That was almost up there with the first episode, honestly. That was solid. Okay, I'm going to go straight to my list. And we'll go from there. Because this is this is good. I'm, I'm imagining this is going to be... This is going to be up there. Because that was, that was really well told. The script was solid. You know, um... Yeah, I'm impressed. That was good. Very good. All right, <laughs> let me get into it, and uh, I'll be back in a minute. All right, okay, so I'm back, and uh, yeah, this is really good. Um, I'm going to speak a bit more in detail once I've said my list of um, yeah, how much I appreciate this, but let's go through that list, and uh, then I'll speak further after that as well. So anyway, first and foremost, uh, camera composition. The way this show looks in regards to like, the shots at times, just even the non-moving shots, just the way they sit sometimes, is great. So I think camera composition is once again really great. Next thing, number two, is camera movements, particularly with, uh, I'm going to say the next one too. So two and three, two is camera movements, three is long take. Uh, so these things came back in this episode and I'm kind of seeing a pattern here and I wonder if that's going to be the case with other episodes. If it is, that's a great way to use this, honestly, because it, it brings a great deal of tension and groundedness to the scene. So, um, yeah, I really like the way the camera movements were used in that long take in a way it kind of swung back and forth a couple of times and it moved around with the characters and how it chose to go with certain characters and that. Brilliant. I love the camera movements. It really gives you a very objective look at the whole situation, which is really interesting and it works quite well. 
Um, so that was really awesome. And then, yeah, the long take was really great. So, yeah, there's those points. Number four is the acting. I think the performances in this episode were still really great. The main guy, and even particularly his wife, I like quite a bit as well. But yeah, overall, the performances are still really good. So point to that as well. Number five is music. The music is back again. I particularly noticed it in that one take scene and then just that, it's kind of like that synthy kind of music, but it works really well and adds to kind of the momentum and the tension of the show. So great choice of music. Um, I think it really complements the one take, I think. Like maybe they sometimes have that music in um, throughout the show, but it's particularly when the one takes are used, the music really shines along with it, I think. Uh, the next thing, number six, is the story. So just the overall story and how it's been playing out, it's brilliant. Uh, um, the script in this is actually amazing. Like there's so much great stuff in here in regards to like one of the big main themes of the show is just truth or falsehood and that's that's it's really great how they kind of um are bringing that into it and yeah it's absolutely brilliant anyway next thing number six is the characters i'm back to characters again because i felt like it was quite a big shift in this episode a lot happened in 40 minutes for this episode um so yeah, that was, it's really great. They're like, and I particularly even get like the, the wife, honestly, in her situation. So I totally get what's going on here on both cases now. And that's one good thing about shows. You can really flesh things out a lot more, unlike a movie. So there is positives and negatives to each, but shows, uh, this is one thing I have to appreciate. You can really more get invested in the characters um, because of just the time being with them and the context you can get, you know. Um, anyway, moving on to the next thing. Number eight is the humor. So, yeah, the humor's back again. There were some pretty striking things in this episode near the end there, but there was still good humor, particularly when they confronted him at the, um, that, what was it, brunt, breakfast, brunch or whatever. That was the whole thing. Um, but, yeah, there was some good humor still throughout this episode that I appreciated. That was good. Kind of, as I said, it kind of loosens it up a little bit, doesn't make it too just gloomy, you know. So it's nice to have that balance, I think. Uh, number nine is the tension, particularly because of this long take scene. Um, but yeah, it worked really well. I thought the overall tension and the tension really hits now too. Like if you watch this episode again, you'd be like, oh fuck these poor guys. You know what I mean? There'd be tension for them and tension for the people. Oh God. It's just tension all around. Right. Um, so yeah, great tension. Uh, number 10 is build up. This is something I probably should give to the past, what, two episodes as well, because without those episodes, it wouldn't have really had the same impact that it had because it was great. This, you know, thinking oh we're gonna get these guys and it's like oh shit they're gonna blow up the place but no they were just gonna give them beef to kind of mess with them you know it makes so much sense but that's such a great uh bit of um build up there i forgot a point there's another thing i gotta give a point to number 11 is revelation that i gotta have that because that revelation in this episode was so great like the food it was like oh shit and it completely and then it adds a whole extra layer, layer of deception, right? So it's really interesting. I really love how that revelation was so striking. And just because the way the show's been building up as well, yeah, that was brilliant. Okay, that's really interesting that the revelation as well is another point. Okay, next thing, number 12, um, thought-provoking. Yes, so yeah, thought-provoking once again because of those those themes and also the, the thing of truth and how... Not having truth can get you more buried in deception, right? Of course it would. And then, so, that's a very good insight, right, to have. And this show's really showing that. And it's really great. So, I love how thought-provoking this show is, it seems. Uh, number 13, the ending. I think the ending was really solid right at the end. It just got me really... Man, it just really just built things up. And then you also see the scooter guy again as well, the, the scooter bomber. So, yeah. Um, and last but not least, number 14, Intrigued to See More. So, uh, this was actually on par with the first episode until I added Revelation. I forgot to add that. So, now this is actually better than the first episode. Wow, there we go. <laughs> so, at the moment, this is my favorite episode. And I think it grants it because particularly that Revelation was great. That was really good. So, um, yeah, this is probably, I can, I confidently say at the moment, this is the best episode I've seen of this show. So episode three is the best. Let's see what, wait a minute, episode three, sorry, episode four. Episode four at the moment is my favorite episode of 
this show. We'll see if that stays the same for the future. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for this video. Um, tell me what your th thoughts are in the comments below. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the subscribe button and liking the video if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, that's it. Catch you folks in the next one. Bye-bye.